Well, when you are coaching a club, sir, you are limited to a certain area of people, certain supporters. But the moment they give you the, the, the mantle to handle the national team, it means you are handling the whole Ghana. And that is where difference of opinions comes in, perceptions and then allegations here and there. They don't even want you to wear a nice shirt. The moment a coach wears a nice shirt and they start assuming. And they've forgotten that some of us did not start coaching today. I played for over 10 years with Kotoko. And I, I did not only play for 10 years. I was part of the team without me, or with my inclusion is better than without my inclusion. That is one. When I finished the game, I went outside to play, two. Then I came back and became a coach and I went outside to play again, three. So now, do you want, all my children, I have a, 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 my children, majority of them are in Europe. So it, you shouldn't be uh, surprised to see me. In the, and I don't rely on them, I rely on myself, I know what I'm doing. So that is the most difficult part of it. People don't understand us because they say this, they say that, they say this. Then they will allege you do this. Sometimes it's very painful. I remember when I went to, uh, uh, I think it was in Niger or something. My wife called me. She was weeping because she watched Start Time and somebody was insulting me. Just like that. You understand me? I meant when she Start Time. She showed me and I saw the but it is part of, then I told her to be quiet. It's part of the game. They are the same people, if I do it well, they will also do what? They will ask me. They will also praise me. But one thing I don't like about uh, the way Ghanaian journalism is, sports journalism is going is, you don't even call us to ask her the whys and the whens. The moment you hear something, whether it's true or not, then pa, it goes to the air. It pains us sometimes. It pains us. And if it pains me, you might not know. I will also pray and say, Allah is a. Seriously, because I've not done it. And you are spoiling my name because it takes me a lot of years to build that name Zito. You take only one minute because you have the power. You don't like one somebody. We are about then all of us. There's a journalist in Ghana. He called to tell me he has his brother's uh, child in, in the team. Then unfortunately, I could not take that person. Up to today, he always insults me. Yes, I know it, but I just kept quiet. So that is the, the difficult part of uh, the national team. And uh, so if you don't have heart, you don't have goals, you don't have uh, determination, you can never work with the national team. Even your coaches, Lambasu, the media will lambast you. But we still keep on changing lives. And that is what I like best. Uh, yeah, you, you, you talk about changing lives. I yeah. mean, what, what's your greatest achievement so far? A lot, a lot. I can even tell you the last uh, World Cup we went, I have a, about five players who have passed through me. So that alone makes me feel uh, uh, happy with the knowledge God that has given to me. Because the money and the knowledge that God gives us, He will access. What did you do with the knowledge? What did you do with your money? Did you do it to help somebody? Did you teach somebody to become somebody? I can easily tell you yes. For more than 10 years, anytime Black Star line up, there's a player of coach. When you look at the back of the World Cup, just uh, Ahab Banye, Abdelad, Salisu, uh, uh, Fatau, and Babaraman. So I'm, I'm, I look at me here. I'm very, very happy. Even today, Banye called to talk to me. Today, Banye called me. I was driving and I saw his call. You understand me? So that makes me happy that at, at the end of the day, whatever it, it is or it was, I've been able to change lives. And I thank God for that. Um, um, looking at this, this club, this season, they've somewhat struggled. I mean, what do you think is the problem and how are you trying to fix it? Yes. Uh, I wasn't too close uh, with the team when they were busy doing the preseason. And I was there with the national team issue, blah, blah, blah. So we saw that um, the, the, the telepathy and so many things were not going right. We started well, we went outside one, we came house we won. But from that time onward, then things went out of hand. Um, that was what, uh, and then until I came and then talked to them. You see, I talked to, a coach is a father, he's a parent. So it's not only about the, the, the practical aspect of it, but where the theoreticals to manage, uh, 
matters is where the psychology comes in where you dive into their mind and see exactly uh, what was wrong with them and i saw it was the attitude the attitude uh, the way i talk to them you know that is where the experience counts uh, like me i've passed through so many coaches in ghana before i had myself uh, but of late they'll go to do their exams they pass they get as is a uh, and the who you know coaching is more practical than theory that's the difference